Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Catch You with Reno Z. As always, per sempre, you know what you need to do. Put these beautiful likes, subscription, and please share because you don't want to miss each video of mine every day. I would like to say thank you to all of you that are subscribing, liking, uh, leaving the comment, and thank you for the love and support because I can't believe the last two weeks I've been having a lot of good feedback. And... And thank you all that this channel, Cacho Trino Z, it is growing. Now, let's take care of business. Of course, after yesterday, kind of covering Napoli and Milan, I will not leave the case, not talking about Juventus. We got some good news coming away, of course, but I want to close it up with Mr. Chiesa, ladies and gentlemen. I understand... A lot of you are not happy about the situation, but unfortunately, when I talk or people that do not follow the lines on what happened with Kiza, I can't do nothing about it. And trust me, whatever I say, it is not 100% true or it's going to be right. Kiza has asked the offer for that five million, the bridge offer that five, seven million. He did not accept it. Now, we can hear rumors from Di Marcio saying that Juventus did not want to renew his contract. The other guy saying and this and that. As is today, either he accepts that low salary or he leaves. I don't think you guys uh, want to keep him, you know, uh, until the end of the season for free. Are we going to have another Dybala here? No. Because unfortunately, his agent did not do a good job focusing on Italy. So far, what we've been hearing is just Roma. He wants to do Champions League whatsoever. We didn't hear nothing. Of course, I said a month ago through my sources that he has offers. But it seems like to me, it hasn't been concrete. Then yesterday, some reporters said that Roma doesn't want him. So... And now, your people tell me, oh, you see, Kiesa wants to stay. Of course he wants to stay at the uh, boot camp with Tiago Mota to prove him wrong. Because he has no more choices. All I want for Kiesa, this is my last time talking about lovely Kiesa. You know I love the guy. But we have to be realistic. You're in Juventus. Who cares what... Vlaovic is going to make whatsoever. We don't know Vlaovic is going to make that $12 million. You got to worry about you, and you haven't been improving. Because unfortunately, with your injury, Carlo Chiesa, it's not do una caca. Accept this offer, then maybe next year you get what you want. That's all I can say. Because then you're going to risk, as a lot of people are saying, he can risk his future. So, ascolta me, Rino Zaurini, okay? Rimane a Juventus, stay at Juventus with that offer. Even it, it, you, it's not what you want, and then we'll talk about it next year. Fun of Bogey Brav, Giza. Fun of Bogey Brav. Now, the Mark Mercado is going wild, which today it's official. Mr. Kefirin Turam is officially signed, which he's been official for a while, but it's officially booked. And, que bella tsar. Which is funny enough, he went with his dad. I am, I just can't wait to see to, uh, Kefren Turam against his brother Mark Turam. You and Inter match, it's going to be wild. So let's hope uh, for the better. Uh, I know a lot of people are concerned. I, I haven't watched him either. I just hear from people that he's good. But of course, we have to see if they can connect together with uh, Douglas Lewis, Locatelli. Then who knows if we're going to get Cook Miners. Because Cook Miners, they still want $60 million. Now, recently reported from Mr. Giovanni Albanese. And of course, my paisano, uh, Alberto from all UVCAS. They're always on track, always on top. You guys can check it out too. That in order to get them to lower the, the salary, uh, they might do a swap with Rugani, with Atalanta. Because Gasperini is one of the defender, and he's thinking about a guy like Rugani that has the experience in whatsoever. But even Ajax is looking for it. I know a lot of people say, oh, Cook Miners is too expensive. And I know a lot of people concerned because every player that comes under Gasperini, they are not the same. 
But the way I look at it, if we can get a cheaper, if this Rugani case as much, I'd be sad, you know, back in the day, well, till two years ago, I did not like it, but recently he's did a good job with Juve, which I find it hard for him to leave because every year we hear his name that he's going somewhere, he stays at Juve. So we'll see about that. And let's see if we can get Coop. If it's not Coop Miners, hey, we can always get somebody else. That is not a problem because Mr. Juntoli is cooking. And Mr. Juntoli, Eme Karepaisani, is looking for this defender from Nice, the French League, whatever. Tobibo. That's one of the top players. Jean Claire Tobibo. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm really bad with names. So he will be the number one talk, which he wants Juventus, but we have to wait and see if Juntoli can close the deal. Now, speaking of Juntoli, I've been hearing a lot of bad things about Juntoli Mota. Like, I don't understand what people want as fans. Juventini want. Last year, it was bad. He, but the good thing is, we got Juntoli. That was the big Mercado. And you guys are calling him a fraud. You're calling Mota a fraud. Like, can you guys stop looking at the past? Because you're p pissed off at him. That he got rid of Allegri. Or uh, the fact he, he did not do a Mercado on the leg. Can we just let it go enjoy this moment? I said it all year since January that this was going to happen. But you're calling June to the fraud? That's not my problem. Even with the Keza situation. It's not all you went to swat. It's even Keza. And I know we have issues with the Italian ta talents, because if you look at this squad, this is the first time Juventus has more foreigners. But it's not just Juventus, like I said yesterday, even Milan. So what are we doing here? We seen yesterday with friends, which I forgot, I got to talk about it, that young kid uh, from Spain, uh, Yamin, 16 years old. The problem is not us, the clubs, the, the one with the Italians. It's the FIGC that let these talents go like California, Fiore to uh, Arsenal. They, they don't want to sell uh, in it, especially with Juventus. Nobody wants to sell to Juventus because they're all controlled. You know what I mean? And Juventus was one of the first teams that brought the young talent, the U21, which Milan is doing as well, which Fonseca wants to do that. But I don't know with Fonseca, but you know, the problem is, with all this problem, it's not the clubs. The clubs will love to do so. I know in our case, in Milan's case, we have a president, uh, Elkan, and whatever that guy's name is. Uh, I forget the, the Redberg guy. I, you imagine, I forget that guy's name. I always mention his name. They don't want to uh, spend. But in Italy, they don't give the opportunity to do what it needs to be done. Because they're all so old school, they want to get these stranieri, uh, and they leave the young talents a casa. So, ragazzi, they get cazzo volimo pallari. Like, well, what the heck are we talking about here? Let's enjoy this moment, and let's see. I always said, take it baby steps at a time. Let's see what Mr. Motta will do in campo with these players. Punto e basta. Because we're seeing all new faces now. Why? Because they already had a project with Motta. So, let June to do his job, and I, I'm hoping in the future to see uh, the young talent and bring Italy as we've seen before. Until Gravina is there, sorry guys, can do nothing. And the latest, uh, Rabiot, after all, what he said against Yamal, that he has to work harder to the final, well, it kind of hurts you, doesn't it? And karma will hit you right now because you're not getting that raise and uh, you know and um, it's 7.5 in conclusion as they remain before so there's no uh, high wages whatsoever that Rabiot wanted so Mr. Rabiot you and your lovely mother get out of here and it shows you yesterday they put you in and France failed. So, one year, one good year you had with Juventus. Yes, you're consistent whatsoever, as most Juventus love you, but Paisano, è ora di andare a casa. That's all I can say. And what are your thoughts? 
Leave the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe. Please share. I'm not doing a live today. Sorry, guys. I'll try to do tomorrow because my schedule it is all over the place. So, till then, Forza Juve. Sempre Forza Italia. E a casa tutti. And let's enjoy this Mercado and stop complaining. Ciao, ragazzi.